Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or the easy to use widget up above. This is going to be a San Francisco Giants and LA Dodgers series recap. Good job by the Dodgers to find a way to win two to one to close out the series against their division foe. San Francisco Giants to now have to go down into Atlanta, even with their win total because Atlanta was a division champion, having to play in Atlanta to start the series in the CS. Now, I will have to say before covering this series recap to preface, I do think the Dodgers played a great series, the Giants played a great series, and I don't think that call would have 100% obviously changed the complexion of the series. I just think baseball does have to change the replay system and has to make more stuff replayable like that because baseball is hands down by far the worst freaking replay system in all of sports. You have to make things more replayable. We've seen a couple things as playoffs, whether it was Balls that could have been reviewed before you're allowed to review if it's fair or foul. It has to go a certain distance. Or that, this, the um, check swing. That was clearly not a check swing. So I think you have to fix a replay system. But all things considered, the Dodgers still played a great series. Mad Max still pitched like the Mad Max. We all know him to be. And he mad-bummed the Giants. I mean, that's what he did. He mad-bummed the Giants. mad Bum stepped up, of course, as a starter and a reliever. That is what Bumgarner was able to do. But it's very unfortunate from a Giants perspective for Logan Webb. Because, of course, if we go back to Game 1, he was able to step up to get them that 4 nothing victory and just dominate. And he dominated again tonight, and Belly gave him his props after the game in order for dominating how he did. And then in the second game, in the second game of the series, your Dodgers, Dodgers fans, of course, just took it to the Giants and were able to win 9-2, to led by Urias, who was able to come in and, of course, pitch good in this final game of the series and also be kind of a Mad Bum X guy starter reliever. So... It's, it's interesting. Uh, the Giants kind of started that trend, and now a lot of people continue to use that, always use the starters. In the playoffs, we saw a couple starters in in this game. Of course, Gosman pitched for the Giants as well in the final game of the series. Then when you go to the third game of the series, that was the game that the Giants were able to just pitch a very, very good game and just somehow figure out a way to win one nothing on the Evan Longoria home run that all of the pitchers on the Giants, of course, would for four and two-thirds, then Rodgers, then McGee, then Duvall, were able to just pick up the slack and pitch really well. Then the Dodgers offense woke up for game four, one seven to two. Joe Kelly was the guy that got the win. Di Sclafani pitched very unimpressive for the Giants in that game and also lost me money, but he didn't pitch well. The Giants just didn't pitch well in that game. They pitched well in the one nothing game, pitched pitiful in the next game in this one, and the Dodgers took advantage of it and were able to win seven to two. And then, of course, in the final game of the series this evening, it was a very well-pitched game from both ball clubs. Both teams pitched very well. Obviously, the Giants decided to not get fooled by the Dodgers going with an opener, and Kapler just put in a couple guys like Yaz and Tommy LaStella, and that was smart of him to not get fooled and know that Urias was coming in, and it worked because obviously Darren Ruff was the guy that was able to even it up. It's just the Giants were not able to get churning and generate enough offense elsewhere. So realistically, that call at the end of the game, yes, it was horrific, and that should be in the replay system, but the Giants also should have been able to get more going earlier, and so should have the Dodgers, of course, that were not able to get much going. They were just able to get a key hit from a guy that, of course, has not been big this year at all, and Cody Bellinger, who then comes up big and shows why he was a league MVP only a couple years back. So if he shows up, makes a big swing. Everybody forgets about, obviously, the offseason for Cody Bellinger after you step up and do that good in that situation. So kudos to him, claps up for him, hats off to him for being able to step up, and hats off for the Dodgers. You have to give Cody Bellinger one of the MVPs of the series. You definitely have to give Julio Urias one of the MVPs of the series, stepping up as a starter, getting them a win, and then obviously stepping up out of the pen here to really play big, not get the win in this game, but play big. And then you're also going to give it to Max Scherzer because Max Scherzer is able to get a save after already stepping up big in this playoffs as well. And then Kenley Jansen was able to also get it done and get the win tonight. But I think when it comes to the Giants, you can't look at this series without giving props and giving Logan Webb an MVP of the series, too, even in a lo losing record, losing effort, excuse me, because he did everything he had to do. Logan Webb absolutely shoved it, like Cody Bellinger said after the game. He was successful. He was great. And he seems like he's going to be a successful pitcher moving forward. So kudos to him. But the MLB, again, does need to fix the replay system. They need to fix this. That's absolutely stupid. You can't replay that again. Who knows if it would have changed the outcome of the series. The Giants should have had more opportunities earlier to be able to score, as should have the Dodgers. But they were able to figure it out on the key hit by Cody Bellinger after having obviously figured it out 
and being more of the offensive potent team in their wins in this series. And today, it was a low-scoring game, and they figured it out. The Giants still pitched fine. They just were not able to figure it out in the end and get the win, and then got a terrible blown call by umpire at the end. But I still got to give it to the Dodgers in the series because they played well. They played with one of the best teams, obviously the best team in baseball, though they're second best, and this looked like the battle of the juggernauts. That's exactly what it looked like. It came down to Game 5, some great pitching games, some great offensive games in the series, and it went to the Giants. So they are the team that took the battle of the juggernauts, and now they're moving on to the Braves. How much are the Braves going to be able to compete with them? Stay tuned for my series preview for that. That is going to be coming up before the series starts, of course. But if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe down below or above on the easy-to-use widget. This has been a San Francisco Giants against the L.A. Dodgers, where the Dodgers are able to beat the Giants in 5-2-1 to one in this ball game after a controversial call. They're able to win the series in five games. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Subscribe again if you enjoy the content, and also enjoy the rest of the MLB playoffs.